welcome to getting over it. So it seems like I just wave my hammer around. Okay, let's not go mental. So I'm assuming I have to... Okay. I mean, the game is called getting over it. And I'm... Oh. Can you just go left? Is that like a secret way to beat it? Oh! All right, I don't know what I I don't know what I expected there. Hang on a minute. Can I go straight down? Will that work? And whoop! Hey, I can no do. More intense than starting over. Uh, okay, just if you just interrupt me. The day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you want some money at the casino, <sighs> put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry clean. <sighs> and then immediately dropped food on it. If you want an argument with a friend, and then later <sighs> discovered that they just returned to their original view, starting over is harder <sighs> than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. Sorry. That does not paint a good picture, but it does kind of give me uh, Stanley Parable-esque type game vibes where you have a sort of sort of aware narrator talking to you. Oh, no. Oh, this tree is a... This tree is real. <laughs> I, I don't know how many situations you find yourself in life where you could genuinely say the sentence, Oh, no. The tree is real. <laughs> but I am glad to add that to my list. So I assume, then, the titular getting over it begins now. Okay, I expected that to be a lot more effective. Okay, all right, we'll hook on to there. I don't like that it's that it has an inbuilt warning against playing this if you've had a bad day. All right, new plan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I am absolutely incredible at this game! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Instantly! You think I care? Right. You think- Thanks for coming with me on this trip. Well, I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Fuck, just find just, a safe place to stop and just, quit the game. Just, and don't worry, I'll save your progress, always. Even your mistakes. Thanks, buddy. You know, maybe, maybe don't cut me off next time, jerk. Alright, okay. I mean, look, it's entirely possible that what I just did was a complete and utter fluke. But it's also entirely possible that I am a naturally gifted genius at this game and will become its Hokage one day. Oh! This game is a homage to a free no! game that came out in 2002 titled <sighs> Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. <laughs> oh, that's very interesting, though. That's, that's kind of cool. I mean, sexy hiking, that's definitely... Uh, I mean, actually, no, it's still not something... That would appeal to me. Look, I don't care how sexy your hiking is. It still involves moving outside. Alright? And if there are two main pillars of things that I will not abide by in this world. Two injustices that I will always stand up and fight for. That I will lead the charge for my fellow man. That humans should no longer be subjected to their torture. It is moving, and it is outside, and I will never back down or surrender <laughs> on those things. This game right here, this might very well mean I end up having to back down or surrender. Okay, all right, look, look, everybody just stop. We'll have a calm and measured approach to this. All right, all right, we've got, we've made, we've made, we've made something, yes. Careful. Nope. All right, we want to hook back on there. No! A lot of progress. That's a deep frustration, a real punch in the gut. Fuck you, buddy! I don't need 
your smug ass little lines to help me focus. It's like somebody stood behind my shoulder going, Oh man, oh that's, mm, yeah you're not very good at that are you? Oh have you tried thinking about maybe trying this? This is, the creator of this game is backseat gaming me. What kind, who would willingly go through, I've, I've barely been playing it for five minutes and I'm already incandescently upset. Alright, alright. I, it's so hard to control. Oh my god. <sighs> ah! Okay, okay. And by hard to control, I do mean the controls are actually really well done smooth. And it's actually, it really is satisfying when it goes right. I mean hard to control as in requires skill. Don't get me wrong. Skill which I have, I have not yet acquired from the looks of things. Jinx this. Careful. No! Okay. <laughs> Go forward! <laughs> okay. 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 Alright. Careful! Careful! Alright, I swear to God if I fall down this mountain. Alright. Alright, okay. This is a long way to go for a coffee. This better be some premium stuff. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, gently does it, gently does it, okay, all right, just, just, yup. Yeah. Anyway, when you start Sexy High, no! you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. <sighs> Look, I get the philosophy, alright? You want something truly difficult that better mirrors the everyday back and forth, seemingly random, random pain, but also greatness, success, but suffering that real life brings upon us, you know? You want to make a statement that really, this game isn't supposed to be fun. Why are you choosing to subject yourself to this? You could be doing something so much more, but then again, is this not the thing that's so much more? Because it is so much realer in the pain that it causes you, balmed by the ecstaticness when it's finally over as you glimpse a bit, slightly tiny bit higher up the mountain. That, or the game creator is sat there behind his computer reading all the reviews and going, <laughs> We'll never quite know, honestly. We'll never quite know. All right, we will never, ever know. <gasps> oh my god, I was so much higher than this! <sighs> okay. All right. We're reaching some sort of stability. And... <sighs> Careful. Okay. No. All right, we got to control how a bounce. All right, we got to control, control our bounce. We got to gently go up this mountain. We don't want to try and do it in huge little bursts. You know, we don't want to rush. All right, haste, as they say, makes waste. And we don't want to waste our time. No, we don't. No, no, we don't want to waste our time. How that? <sighs> Careful. No! It's fine. Honestly, it's fine. What's important is being able to immediately calm down. Accept your mistake, accept that it happened, and move on, really. That's the sign 
of a true, true person. Someone who's really got to grips with their inner self. Really come to understand what it means to be calm. Because I'm not going to let this game get to me, you know? I am not going to let this game get to me. I, I simply... I simply refuse to be gotten by it. And I think that one simple truth is going to be enough to really set me apart from everyone else that's played this game. you need to take game. a break, it's okay. I've saved your progress. Fuck you, buddy! And... <sighs> okay, alright. Okay, we're getting there. Gotta be nice and gentle. Here's an idea, though. Have you thought about getting out the metal pot? It's okay, you just gotta take it slow. You gotta take it gentle, you know? You gotta... You gotta be careful. You can't go... Hammer and tong with this, because we don't have a tong. We only have the hammer, so we just gotta go hammer. This bit right here... I just... Well, I can't get over it! I can't get over how... Irritating it is. Because, like, you have to go off at an angle which forces you, if you fuck it up, to go all the way back down to the bottom of the mountain. No! It's so easy to just throw yourself in a direction you don't want to go with just the tiniest fucking piece of movement. See what I mean? What is that? No. Why? Did we need to come back down here? Because I don't think that we did. Oh, 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 oh. I am the best player of the You're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. Alternatively, you're a dick. <sighs> admittedly, right, admittedly. Oh, me mateys, when you be falling down a mountain, turning into a pirate is what be saving you. I, admittedly, I do, I do love this. Like, I think this is absolutely brilliant, and I really can appreciate the philosophy behind it. And I'm sure when I'm not playing this game, I will look back on it super fondly. But right now, right now in this moment... Right now, in this moment, there is nothing I want more than to strangle this pot guy with every ounce of strength that I can muster. Okay. All right. Yeah, the thing is, I can feel myself going into my usual thing that I do with something is hard and obsess over it. Obsess over it until I absolutely have definitely beaten it. Like, I, I just, I can't help myself. It always happens. And I feel like being in that state with a game like this is incredibly dangerous. Come on! Oh! Oh my god, this is infuriating. How... You've done this part before. You know it's possible. Just do what you did the first time. No, I haven't, you flaming liar! I've not got past this bit! I've just been stood trying to attempt it for the last however long it feels like an eternity! 
Okay. Good God. No. I'm trying. Don't let it get to you. <laughs> no. No. Fast is making it ironically take longer. <laughs> but I'm not sure I care anymore. One eternity later. I do not see how to use this control scheme to get up that obstacle. I just... I just don't. And I guess maybe that's the point. Maybe that's the limit at which my ability can take me in this game. Maybe it is. I'll see you all soon. I'll let you know if I figure it out, and in which case, if you'd like some more of this, let me know. You know, definitely, we'll, we'll be calmer in the future. We'll be calmer, and everything will be nice. Nice and wonderful. Nice and calm, you know? Nice and easy does it. Nice and easy does it! I don't get it. It's not enough height. Not enough height by far. <laughs> Even just being sent down there again is so triggering. Just let me stay up there attempting the bit I'm actually stuck on. Please. All I can think of is it requires some like sick ass flick power jump off this rock. That I am just not good enough to do. <laughs> A good boy. Weird thing, guys. I immediately relaunched the game. Because I just... It's just bugging me too much. This bit. Absolutely bugging me way... Way, way too much. Like, you have no idea. Like, it's infuriating me. And I have to, have to do it. I absolutely have to. My question is, are these lights... There's something I've literally not tried, which is partially what inspired me to do it. I'm assuming... Yes, these lights are solid. So if you can get yourself high enough and then flick round to the light ooh no 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 careful careful wanna get right round to that cut no no come on Pull. Oh! Ha 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 No! Oh! Oh yes! Oh yes! Careful. Let's not celebrate too early.
Rage gaming with the video flow Shenanigans and overwatch And his fans all know that every single thumbnail That this man makes without fail Makes you do a double take Catching your attention with every verse See, say that you need healing but you're at his mercy Get it? Cause it's a pun on his channel, that's one of the better ones Widow is venomous, I see no end to this Cataclysm's imminent when rage is in his element Pandemonium is not familiar with irrelevance Maximum Genji beam, oh so elegant Joke so funny causing you to cry Editing as quality as the noon is high Yo, concussion man, shoot to the sky Cap it all off with a goodbye